Hey guys, welcome back to Nishanya Rock and in this video, I'm going to be telling you three ways to make your desktop look amazing. So let's get started. So the first method of making your desktop look awesome is by changing this background. Now you can make it something alive and lively. How do you do that? Open Google Chrome or whichever browser you use and go to this website. It's called Lively Wallpaper. All links are in the description. Go to the download section and click installer. It will start downloading an installer. And once it finishes downloading it, just run it. Now when this pops up, just click install for me only. Choose the language as English. And click next. Then I accept the agreement, click next. And then it will show you the location and just click next. And next. Install. Now wait for it to install. Once it finishes, just click Enable the launch lively wallpaper and click finish. Now once lively wallpaper opens, you can choose any one of these wallpapers to customize your desktop. So say I'll choose eternal light. And then let's go to our desktop screen by pressing windows and D together. And boom, you can see this amazing wallpaper. Now if you want to edit it anytime, just click on this arrow in the task bar, the show hidden icons and right click the lively wallpaper icon and click open lively. Now here you can edit it anytime. Now if you want to add something else, you can add MP4s or GIFs. So if you want to add another one, just click on this plus. Now the one I prefer adding is the Spaceman wallpaper. It looks awesome. Here it is. Now this for this, the link for this website is also in the description. So go ahead and check it out. You can watch the MP4 over here. And now let's just go and download it for desktop, not for mobile. Yeah, now once it finishes downloading, just go back to your lively wallpaper app, click browse and find your MP4 right over here. Now it's going, there's going to be a dialog box, you can edit the title and once you add it, you'll realize that your desktop background has changed to this amazing Spaceman one. Now let's go to the second step. The second step is by installing Rainmaker, which adds widgets to your desktop. Now let's open Chrome. Let's go to the Rainmeter website, scroll down and click on download final. The link for this is also in the description. And once it finishes, just open it. Click standard installation, launch rain meter on startup, and then it's gonna do all of its work. And just click finish. Boom. Now when you go to your desktop, you're gonna see these widgets in it. Now I don't want these widgets, you can customize this on your own. So now I'll show you how. Just right click on any one widget and go to manage skin. Here you'll see this pop up and here you can disable anything. So say I don't want any of these because I prefer one which is not in this. I don't want the clock. So whichever one you don't want to want, just click on it and click unload or load. So I don't want the disk. I don't want network. It's not there. And so like that you can change the ones you don't want. Or you can do it directly from here. Just right click on the skin and click unload skin. Boom, it goes away. So I'll take away this one too. Now, if you actually want to use this in a good way, what you will have to do is first good remove part. your icons on the desktop because they'll clutter your desktop a lot. To do that, just right click and go to view and click show desktop icons and unselect it. So now your desktop icons will go away and you'll see this amazing background. Now, I'll tell you the one the one rain meter skin which I now this is the rain meter skin which I prefer. The link for this is also in the description. So now let's download this. It's on DeviantArt. You're going to have to log in to download it. It's completely free. 
I click download and let's wait for it to finish. Once it finishes, just click open. And once it opened, just select all of them and click install. It's going to automatically add it to rain meter. Now go to your desktop and whoa, you're going to see this awesome bar at the top, which is sort of like how it's in the Mac. Now, the best way I like this is by changing the theme. You can change anything you want by clicking on these three dots over here. In the themes, I prefer the second one because it sort of merges in with the background. And look at this, it looks amazing. Now, let's go to the third step. The last method to make our desktop the best one ever is by downloading a Nexus dock. A dock is basically a tray at the bottom where you can keep all your applications. That's how it is in the Mac. So let's go. Open Google Chrome. Here, the, you have to open this website. I'll give the link in the description too. Scroll down and click download. Down, you can download the free version. That has a lot of features. I don't need the premium one. And just wait for it to finish downloading. Once it's done downloading the zip file, just open it, open the file location, right click on it and extract it. And click extract. And once it's done, it's going to create a new folder called Nexus. And it's going to open it. But yeah, now here in the Nexus folder, open it and you'll see this Nexus setup, which is an exe file. Just run it. And then when this comes up, just select a language for me, English. Click I accept. And click install. And once it's done, enable launch Nexus and click finish. Just wait. Boom, and here it is. Now, before that, you can go back and delete the zip file. It's not necessary. Now, let's see how to edit this. So first of all, you can edit this bar, which is at the top. Just right click and go to preferences. Now, where is that? Go to Nexus, click on it and go to preferences. Now you can edit this however you want. After I finish editing, I'll show you my favorite features in this and then you can also edit it according to yourself if you want. Okay guys, so after editing all my preferences, this is finally how my Nexus dock looks. Isn't it amazing and all over my desktop is very beautiful. Now, if you also want the same settings as I have in my Nexus dock, I have kept a link in the description uh, for these settings. You're just going to have to download the file it's going to take you to Google Drive. It's going to, the name of the file is going to be something like Nexus Doc Saved Settings. So now, how do you do it? So after you download the file, just go to the Preferences. In Preferences, go to Advanced. Click Restore. And just open this .wbk file, which is Nexus Doc Saved Settings. The one that you downloaded. And you'll get all of this. Now, I don't know how that's going to happen, but you might get a few errors. Just work around that with yourself. Like if you don't have some of these apps, remove the icons from there. But yeah, this is overall how my desktop looks. Thank you for watching. Comment and subscribe, please.